All right, now that we have a good idea of what subtraction really is and how we can do this without having any sort of formal algorithm for it, let's see if we can develop a formal algorithm. And for that, we want to go back and start with our concrete representation of numbers using our place value chart. And so let's consider a problem like 432 base 5 minus 231 base 5. And so I can set down my place value chart. Again, I don't really need to show what the units look like. It's just a convenient uh, visual picture there. Um, however, the thing to remember is since we're working base 5, each unit is going to be 5 of the previous unit. So 5 of these make this, 5 of these make this, 5 of these make that, and so on. And the numbers that I have here are going to be 4, 3, 2, base 5, that's, let's see, that's 4 of these, 3 of these, 2 of those, and I want to remove 2, 3, 1, base 5, 2 of these, 3 of these, 1 of these. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to set down my 4, 3, 2, base 5, and because I want to work with a concrete representation, I know I have 4 of these three of these, two of these, but let's go ahead and draw those in. So there's my four, three, and two. And then I want to remove two, three, one. Two of these, three of these, one of these. So I'll pick out two of these to get rid of, and they're gone. I want to take three of these. Well, I'll pick all three of these. I want to remove these three, and they're gone. And then finally, one of these. So I'll pick one and get rid of it. And so this is what I have left. And now I want to change back and record using my abstract symbols. I have two of these, zero of these, one of these. So my remainder is going to be two, zero, one, base five. What if I try something else? How about 1, 0, 1, 2, base 4, minus 3, 2, 3, base 4? And so again, I'll set down an empty place value chart just to uh, be able to organize everything. And again, I don't really need to do much more than remember that any one of these is four of these and so on. Um, I don't have to show what those look like. It's just convenient to do so. And so I'm going to have my 1012 base 4. That's four digits. So that's going to be one of these, zero of these, one of these, two of these. And from that, I want to remove 323 three base 4. That's three of these, two of these, and three of these. So I'm going to remove that. And well, I have a problem. I don't have three of these. I don't have two of these, and I don't have three of these. I can't remove this from here. I can't remove this from here or this from here. Fortunately, I can borrow, uh, well, actually, I don't want to use that term anymore. You uh, might have been told to borrow, but the reality is you're never going to return what you borrow. Uh, it's gone. Uh, so the proper term is we're going to trade, uh, and we're going to use the fact that our trade rate, we're working base 4, is 4 for 1. So any one of these I trade, I'm going to get 4 of the next thing over. So. I can trade any unit for four of the next. So I'll trade this for four of these. And this is gone now, no longer exists. And now I'm in a position to remove three, because I have three I can take away. But I still have the problem over in this column. So I'm going to, again, pick one of these to trade for four more in the next place. So I'll trade. This is gone, and now I have four of these. And I have the one that I had originally. Keep track of that one. And we're good. Now I'm able to remove two of these because I have enough. But now I still have this problem in the last column. So again, I'm going to trade one of these 
for four more in the next place over. And again, this thing that I've traded, that's gone, no longer exists, and I can do the required removals. So I'm going to remove three from here, and that leaves me with nothing. I'm going to remove two from here, and then I'm going to remove three from here, and now I am in a position that I can actually write my answer down using my abstract number symbols. I have two of these and three of these, so I can write my answer to three, and altogether that difference 1012 minus 323 base 4 is going to be 23 base 4.